Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by and if you're not, thanks for coming back. I'm really excited for this video because I'm trying out Davina Cosmetics, which is an indie brand, and I was able to purchase their Aurora Flare Duochrome Collection along with a few matte shades. So if you wanna see what these shades look like and see how I got this look, keep on watching this video. Don't forget to leave me some comments and definitely consider subscribing and joining my community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So I think my friend Ruby, who's also here on YouTube, is the one that mentioned this restock of Aurora Flare. And I was like, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. She's like, no, this brand has some really nice duochromes, really nice shades. I don't know if it was a restock or this was a new launch or what, but I, d I definitely missed out on it, but I did check out their website and I'm like, oh my gosh, these shades look amazing. And I signed up for the newsletter. so when they restocked recently, like a couple weeks ago, I was like, I'm getting it this time. So the Aurora Flare collection is six duochrome shades. Here they are. Hopefully they are coming out lovely on camera. And I'm gonna swatch them and just um, go over the names. They are amazing, you guys. And then I pick, and ooh, I, was, I was about to say I picked up. I didn't pick up. I also ordered, four of these matte shades that I'll swatch as well. But I do hope you all really are interested in these indie brands. If you like duochromes, I'm thinking that the indie brands have the best ones. So let's go ahead and get to the good part. So again, the six shades are called Aurora Flare. I'm zooming in so you can see my arm. This look y'all, come on. Come on, wait till y'all see it. Wait till, let's just get on with this. So let's just um, go over these shades. Now again, sometimes duochromes are hard to really just understand on camera, but in person, okay, y'all need to see my face this close. So this first shade is called Australis. I might be saying that wrong, but here it is. All right, it may be hard to see, but this, Shade has a fuchsia green type shift. And I just want you to know that when I rub my finger in here, it feels like silk. That's what it feels like, silk. All right, here we go. Okay. So, like I said, sometimes it is hard to pick up on camera, but look at my finger. Can y'all see it? You can see the green right here. This reminds me of Sextra Terrestrial from Pat McGrath. Oh my God. Next we have Thermosphere. I'm just trying to capture the shift, but, and you can tell there's definitely a shift there. But when I tell you, like, they really do feel like silk. So here it is on my finger. And then here's the swatch. I mean, these are gliding on like you would not believe. I don't know what to say. Next we have Magnetosphere, which is this shade here. I know it kind of looks similar to the shade I just showed you, but let's see. So here's the shade on the finger. So you see there's kind of a fuchsia or purplish shift here with the blue. Let's look at the swatch. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this, look at it. Okay, sorry. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's all I can say. Next we have Polaris. Okay, so you see it looks green or teal here. Let's see what it looks like. I'm running out of fingers here. Wow. I mean, these swatches could go all around my arm, y'all. Like. It's just that much. I'm not digging into it. Like this is just what it looks like. Amazing, amazing. Now those six shades were $72, but see, rightfully so, because look at that, okay? Rightfully so. Okay, next, so excited about this one, Exosphere. So this one you can see it shifts from like green to blue. 
I mean, come on. Look, look how far we can go. Look how far we can go with that swatch. Mm. So I'm just lingering, I'm just lingering. <laughs> I'm just lingering my arm up here. And last but not least, we have Borealis. Okay, so this is another teal shade, or it appears teal. Here's what it looks like on my finger. And here is the swatch. Come on. So these are the six shades in the Aurora Flare collection by Davina Cosmetics. Like I said, this collection was $72, but if you really break it down for what you're getting, totally worth it in my book. Okay, so let's not forget about the mattes. Like I said, I did purchase four. This first shade is called Push. We use this arm. You see it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a periwinkle purple. Don't let the matte swatches fool you though because I did work with them already. Next we have the shade Zane. Zane is kind of like a gray. Here's what it looks like. All right, there's the swatch. Next we have the shade Suki, which is here. Here it is right here. So it's kind of like a little grungy lavender shade. There we go. Last but not least, we have Navel, which looks like this. It's a blue. Really like this shade a lot. Here's what it looks like on the finger. And here is the swatch. So there we have the mattes. These are just the ones I chose to purchase, but they have a you know wide variety of shades and shimmers. And they also have other duochrome collections, but I'll be honest with you, most of them are sold out right now. The shop is currently closed. I think they're having a huge restock for Black Friday. So if you're interested in trying out this indie brand, Make sure you sign up for their newsletter and follow them on Instagram because that's where I'm kind of finding my information from. And you know, I have no affiliation with any type of makeup brand, anything that I am showing you or reviewing. I'm not even trying to get you to buy it. I'm just like such an enthusiast that I was going to get it anyway, so I might as well show you all what I have, especially if you're interested in trying something new or want to work more with duochromes or want to know how to work with them, because I don't know if they're the easiest things to work with um, if you are newer to makeup. And I still consider myself to be newer to makeup. Like I said, maybe the end of 2019. That's when I started really buying a lot of makeup. So I am new to all of this. And now that I kind of know what I'm looking for, and I also follow a couple of Instagram pages that are dedicated to indie brand makeup, there's so much out there beyond what's at Sephora, what's at Ulta. But I think when you're starting out in makeup, I know for me, I'm going with the big brands. I'm going with what I see because I don't know about anything else. But as I'm starting to like delve deeper into this, I am finding that there is so much out there, different formulas, different, just different everything. So I am so excited to share with you when I purchase these things in case you're interested. So, all right, enough talk. I'm gonna get into this look, then I'll be back to tie it all up. Mm -hmm. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give into the pressure, uh oh. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not It feels just like I'm lying to you I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life I know I'm wasting time Cause I just wanna call my friends and See what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright Go. 
starts to start a conversation with someone Just be who I am, I care so much about first impressions so, Cause I got a feeling that it could be great, skip all the acts, not playing games Maybe ripping and daring me and tell you my name Okay, everybody, so I really do hope that you like this look. I love it. I absolutely love it. I feel like some type of mermaid. I don't know. Like, look at, come on. I mean, what can you say? That's why I'm kind of on the fence about this Natasha Denona dual chrome, because I'm like, I have these. Like, I have, I have this, okay? And I don't know if the mattes in that palette along with the three duochrome shades that are in there or multi-chrome, they look duochrome to me. But I don't know if it's worth me getting the palette. Now, if I'm able to get it with the Sephora sale, I'm trying to think. I mean, that'll take off what, like $24? Yeah, I don't know. I really, really have to think about it. These are like decisions that are not important, but you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm think about it. Spending that kind of money, like it's not something I'm gonna get because everybody wants to see it. Like I have to want it myself personally. And I don't know. I'm like, am I gonna have FOMO over this? You know what? Let's move on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So love this, love these shades. I am really looking forward to their restock on Black Friday. That's why I'm kind of like, let me just pace myself because they have this dirty duochromes collection too. I'm like, yes, I want that. So 
I might just need to chill out for now with any other situation. All right, so thank you so much for taking out some of your time and giving it to me. You know, I do appreciate you all watching and I hope that you enjoy these videos and have fun watching because I have fun filming them. Make sure that you are being gentle with yourself. Make sure you talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.